Welcome to Operations Research, Monte Carlo Simulation using MS Excel Lecture Series by Prof. Joy Jeet Kosh. This is the second lecture of a four-lecture series. This lecture will be on application of Monte Carlo Simulation using an example in MS Excel in a business problem like production quantity problem. The application is explained with generalized example and anyone can understand easily. So, do not miss and watch the full video. For the next video in the lecture series, please click the suggested video link above. You may also click on the playlist at end of the video to access all the videos. Please subscribe this channel and yes, do not forget to like and share. Also click on the bell icon to receive instant information of new videos uploaded. Thank you. Hello friends. Welcome to the lecture 2 of Monte Carlo Simulation. So in the last lecture we have uh, had an introduction to Monte Carlo Simulation and we have seen an actual application of Monte Carlo Simulation for finding the value of pi. So from this lecture we will be actually applying Monte Carlo Simulations in business like problems. So <clears throat> you will learn uh, how to apply Monte Carlo simulations in various business decision making <coughs> procedure. So at this particular problem there is a manufacturer who manufactures 30 items per day and uh, the probability of selling is given here as in the table 27 units is 10%, 28 units is 15%, 30 units is 35% and 32 units is 0.5% likewise total probability is 100% here. So this probability is known to us so this is decision making under risk sort of problem <clears throat> and the production cost and the sale price are given as 40 and 50 respectively so by selling each unit he earns a profit of rupees 10 and any unsold product is disposed at a loss of rupees 50 so if any product is unsold that means he loses rupees 40 that is the production cost plus rupees 15 um, for disposing the unit so that is 55 rupees he loses for every unsold unit and of course there is a penalty of uh, rupees 5 per unit if the demand is not met so if the demand is not met the losses is quantified in terms of monetary unit that is rupees 5 and the random numbers are given for manually doing it uh, some 10 trials for 10 trials the random numbers are given and uh, you have to simulate uh, the demands and find out the profit that is the question and if the company decides to produce 29 in place of 39 items per day whether the company has an advantage or the company has a disadvantage that is the question so this problem will be solving by monte carlo simulation method so before that in order to find out the profit we have to understand the logic of this Okay, this is the uh, sales uh, sales unit <clears throat> the demand may be 27 and for demand 27 the probability is 10 percent so we'll map it accordingly from 0 to 100 uh, or 0 to 99 will be mapping so if let's say if the random number comes between 0 to 9 that means the probability is 10 here we are matching the probability so it will be demand will be 27 so if the random number is between mm, 10 to 24 it will be 28 so that is 15 percent so that probability we are matching it likewise we'll map it up to 99 so if it is 32 the probability is 0 5 so half 5 percent then it is 95 to 99 so likewise we will be mapping it and uh, we'll generate the random numbers <coughs> and if the random number let's say comes out to be uh, 11 then the sales demand sales or demand may be uh, 28 so if it is 48 it will be 30 if it is 85 it will be 31 if it is 7 it will be 27 if it is 50 it will be 30 so likewise we'll generate the uh, random number if the random number lies between these mapping values accordingly we'll map it to the particular cells depending on the probability so this concept is very important for you to understand in order to understand the Monte Carlo simulation application of this particular problem. <clears throat> Let me explain again. So based on the percentage, it's 10 percent, so it is 0 to 9, 10 units are there. So 15 percent from 10 to 25, that is 24, 
so this is 15 percent so accordingly we have mapped the 100 percent probability into these categories into these ranges and for each ranges we will map it to the particular cells so we are mapping based on the probability so this concept will be should be known to you or clear to you so you know to understand monte carlo simulations now we'll generate random numbers <clears throat> we'll generate random numbers if the random numbers falls in any of these ranges uh, um, then the will map according to the uh, according to the stable to the particular cells so if the random number generated is 45 then the cells prediction is 30 so likewise will be generating or simulating the cells likewise will be simulating the cell value okay so here simulating it so in this manner we will be simulating the sales value from the random number we will map from the random number to the sales value <clears throat> and then once we have the sales value for the stock or the production that is 30 units in this, this is a particular production problem in business we often comes encounters problem production problem how much to produce so that is a common business uh, scenario or decision making scenario in such cases we can use simulation <clears throat> this is a simple problem depicting that particular aspects of business <clears throat> so here once we will be simulating the sales and for the sales and the production we will be finding out the profit so for finding out the profit we have this uh, logic if demand is d is equal to demand or sales and s is equal to stock or production is given as 30 here so if d is less than l s that means if the sales is less than the production then the profit will be d is less so that much only you can sell so you can you can sell only d amount so d into 10 10 is the amount of profit for 50 minus 40 is 10 so 10 he is earning rupees 10 is earning by selling each unit so how much unit you will be able to sell because the demand is less than the production so you will be only able to sell d so let's say if the production is 30 and the demand is 20 so you will be able to sell only 10 because there is uh, demand or sales is only 20 so the profit will be 20 into 10 and if demand is 20 or sales is 20 and the production is 30 then there is a difference of 10 units so this is the difference of 10 units 10 units will be unsold so unsold unit he has to dispose at a cost of 50 and the production cost of each of this unit is 40 so for each unit he is losing a 55 rupees so how much is unsold s minus d that is 30 minus in this case example i have taken 20 so 30 minus 20 is 10 10 into 55 so, <clears throat> so likewise we'll find out the profit if d is less than uh, s else if d is greater than or equal to s then s into 30 that means if demand is let's say 31 then 30 only you can say because you have production th produce 30 so 30 into 10 minus the shortfall there is a loss which is 5 for the shortfall the shortfall is 31 minus 30 into 5 so accordingly we will be calculating so likewise we will be calculating <clears throat> so let's do this let's solve it in excel and put this in order to calculate the cells then this is probe cells is 27 28 29 30 31 32 so in the accordingly corresponding probability is 0 0.1 0 0.15 0 0.2 0.35, 0 0.15, 0 0.05, summation will be should be one. So you should check it. The summation should be one. So it is one. So it's okay. And mapping. So we'll be mapping the this value. So from zero to okay. Before mapping it, make this text. Otherwise, it will take dead value. I'll make it text okay so 0 to 9 10 to 15 is there so it is 24 
so 25 this is 20 20 plus 25 is 45 that is 44 so 35 45 plus 35 is 80 80 that is 79 so 80 to 95 94 sorry 94 and this this is 5 percent so 95 to 99 okay so this is we have mapped it now sales random number for sales prediction ready okay random number for sales prediction so this will write equal to we use it function rand between so we'll use this function rand between and between what between 0 to 100 we'll be using this 0 to 100 so how much is required i think 10 This is the best on these cells is <coughs> the sales will be equal to if the random number is 39 cells will be equal to if this is sorry equal to if this is less than 10 we will be it will be 27 I'll make it absolute so f4 I'll be pressing so it will absolute referencing it will become or you can just write 27 also there's no issue else if it is greater than 10 or it is uh, greater than 9 then if again if this is less than 25 the value should be 28 so you can write 28 or I'll refer to this particular cell and use absolute referencing using F4 or you can type it also no issue if again we'll type if if this is less than 45 it should be 29 else if this particular value if it is less than sorry this particular value if it is less than 80 it should be 30 else if if it is less than 95 it is 31 else it should be 32 so how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 one two three four five six okay so we are simulating the cells here so based on the random number we have simulated the cells if it is 36 let's check if it is 36 36 is between this it's 29 so you can see it is 29 if it is 32 if it is 32 32 is between this it is 29 if it is 81 81 is between this it is 31 so you can see based on this random number we have simulated these cells once we have simulated the cells so profit profit for 30 items produced so if it produces 30 items what is the profit the logic we have already discussed what is the logic the logic is that if it is less than s then d into this d into 10 minus this so it will write equal to if if d is less than the s that is 30 in this case then 
it is d into 10 minus 30 minus this 30 minus this in 255 else 30 that is if uh, the demand or the sales is greater than sales is uh, sales or demand value is greater than the stock that is the production that is 30 into 10 minus this this value minus 30 into 5 okay so if this is 31 and uh, demand is 31 or sales is 31 and production is 30 that means what how much you are earning so 30 into 10 is 300 and one items you have not been able to meet the demand so that will be 5 into 1 so 300 minus 5 is 390 295 so i think our logic is correctly implemented so we'll drag it like this this is the value so the total or the mean or the average profit you can count or you can count the total profit it's up to you that's the total profit uh, or the average profit let's say average profit average profit of all this is 295.5 so now the next part of the question is uh, if we produce 29 is it advantageous to produce 29 or 20, 30 so that we have to mention so if it is 29 so let me drag the formula here if I drag the formula you can see B has changed to C2 so this I will make it to B again so all this I will make it to B B this as B okay and 30 will change it to 29 29 29 so 29 this also 29 so now my formula is correct or you can freshly write the formula is up to you I have copied pasted it but Okay, so now average I'll calculate average average of all these. So it is 254. Let me do some conditional formatting here so that you will be able to understand it. A better way, let me set some icon. So icon value, let me put it in this manner and also put some color to it. So here uh, the red represents the higher values and the green represents the lower value and the arrow obviously representing up arrow representing the higher value so here if each time if i press f9 it will be simulating it and uh, you can find out the difference if i find out the difference here this minus this enter you get the value like this minus one that means it is less so each time we will calculate so you can see it is always coming a positive value so maximum time it is coming a positive value that means we can conclude that the company should produce 29 items which is much more advantageous than producing 30 items so this is we have done by simulating it this we have done by simulating the values here so each time you press f9 f9 is for simulation so it will generate random number different random number so f9 you can see it is simulating you can tabulate the value and you can perform the number of trials and then you can tabulate the value and you can calculate it accordingly so that's it this is the particular sol solution of this particular problem you can see here okay the total profit this is the simulation results so i hope uh, you have understood this particular problem how to use Monte Carlo simulation and particularly in Excel how can we can simulate this particular problem it's a very interesting problem in the next lecture 
uh, will discuss a newspaper by problem it is particularly stock uh, or inventory uh, stocking problem that we will be seeing in the next lecture so don't miss out in the next lecture thank you for watching this video